by um, let's see, commissioner, whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to call the uh, zoning board of appeals for the town of Watertown. Call the meeting to order. I'll have the secretary call the roll. Uh, Rick Strandria. Bill Roger. Here. Here. Uh, Ned Dalton. Uh, Vin Gianetto. Roger Mitchell. Here. Gary Swingle. Jeff Franson here. James Pro. Here. Okay, I'm going to have uh, Mr. Franson sit in for um, Ned, and Jim's going to sit in for Vin Gianetto. Okay, I'm going to read the uh, ground rules for this for this uh, public hearing tonight. The applicant or his representative will make their formal presentation to the to the boards, stating stating that specific hardship and precisely why the why it merits a variance from the zoning regulations of the town of Watertown. All comments, discussions, and observations shall be made through the chair, shall be made through the chair after proper recognition by the chairman. This is necessary to ensure that only one person at a time speaks on any issue, thus making it easier for everyone to understand and for clearer legal transcription. All persons addressing the board shall begin by first clearly stating their name and address for the record. If necessary, the person may be asked to spell his or her name for the record. Following the presentation of the application, the Zoning Board of Appeals will ask specific questions of the applicant. After the board has asked its questions of the applicant, all I shall then allow any members of the public who wish to speak or in favor of this application or against it to do so at that time. I shall then allow the applicant to respond to the comments of the members of the general public. I shall then allow any members of the general public who wish to present any additional information or clarifying discussion to do so at that time. I shall then provide an opportunity for the applicants to respond to these additional remarks if they or their representatives so wish. The Zoning Board of Appeals has 35 days from the date the public hearing commences to complete the public hearing. The board may ask the applicant for a 35-day extension of the public hearing period if the board requires any additional information or wishes to schedule a site walk to observe the situation for themselves. The Zoning Board of Appeals has 65 days from the date when the public hearing is closed to enter its decision. The board may or may not make its decision tonight at its regular meeting following the public hearing. You may stay for the regular meeting if you wish, or you may leave at the end of the public hearing and contact the zoning office the following morning to determine the status of your application. Okay, our one and only application tonight is application 2023-2 of Salvatore Galasso for a variance of 13 feet to the rear property line setback for construction of a 12 foot by 11 foot deck to be located 17 feet from the rear property line at 32 Evelyn Street, Oakville, Connecticut in an R12.5 residential zoning district. We are listening to this applicant again tonight because last month we didn't have a, a, a quorum and we told the applicant that we would have a special meeting tonight to, to uh, rule on this application. I'll have the uh, secretary read the legal notice. Zoning Board of Appeals Town of Watertown will hold a public hearing at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, October 3rd at the Watertown Town Hall Council Chambers, 61 Echo Lake Road, Watertown, Connecticut, to hear and act upon the following application. Application 2023-2 of Salvador Galasso for a variance of 13 feet to a rear property line setback for construction of a 12 foot by 11 foot deck to be located 17 feet from a rear property line at 32 Evelyn Street, Oakville, Connecticut, in an R-12.5 res residential zoning district. Section 12.8 of the Watertown Zoning Regulations requires a 30-foot setback from the rear property line for a principal building in an R-12.5 residential zoning district. At this hearing, interested persons and in communications will be heard. A copy of the applications is on file in the Planning and Zoning Office, Watertown Municipal Center, 61 Echo Lake Road, Watertown, Connecticut. This is dated in Watertown, Connecticut, the 29th day of September, 2023, as well as the 14th day of September of 2023 and the 21st day of September, 2023. Edward Dalton, Secretary of Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, is there any, are you here to represent? Uh, talk? Yes. Because... Can you state your name and address for the record? Yes. 
my name is Salvatore Galasso. I live at 32 Evelyn Street, um, Oakville, Connecticut, 06779. And uh, my wife and I appreciate uh, your authorizing this uh, special session uh, to hear our particular request. Now, my wife and I have been living in the town of Watertown for 44 years, okay? We've had other projects that did require permits, and we had never had any problem obtaining those permits. We understand that zoning regulations do change over time, and uh, we, we have to abide by that, uh, that particular situation. We are requesting uh, a waiver because uh, there is no way that we could ever satisfy that, uh, that zoning requirement. The property lines were established in 1955 when the house was built. In 1979, we acquired the house and the property lines did not change. At this point, we cannot infringe upon our neighbor's property in order to accommodate the new uh, zoning uh, uh, requirement. So we, we realize that what we are requesting, okay, is a deck off our porch. We have a very small porch. Back then, 1955, they didn't build very big porches. And this accommodates our uh, my particular situation with my disabilities and my wife's health. And it makes it uh, accommodating for us to have this where it's designated on the plans, okay? Uh, this, this venture that we are involved with um, has been uh, planned for some time uh, because of our circumstances, well, we were taken off the list for our project. So now we have to, if once and hopefully we will get approved for this variance, then we will have to contact the contractor to put us back on the list. We are hoping that we can get a resolution to this issue as quickly as possible because of the fact is we're starting to get into the season where we could potentially have snow, the ground freezes. I'm not quite sure how long these permits are available once you receive it. So it could really put a financial burden upon us. Now when I say financial burden, because we never had a problem with permits in the past, we went ahead and we signed an agreement. I am paying, or my wife and I are paying, paying on this loan, okay? We've already made three payments, okay? So this creates a financial hardship for us, okay? Well, sir, not, plus, to not to interrupt you so you'll know that financial doesn't come into No, I understand that, board. but I have to express that. Okay. And plus <coughs> a hardship, emotional hardship, okay? Because... Um, We'd like to have a deck like other individuals within the uh, town of Watertown and Oakville, okay? My neighbors above us, they have a much bigger deck than mine is going to be. The other neighbor has a much bigger deck, okay? We realize that, of course, zoning regulations have changed since then. Neither one would qualify today, okay? So the request is to uh, hopefully give us this variance so we can go ahead and move on with our, our project. And uh, this project will not be an eyesore. Uh, it's not going to be something that would be adverse to our neighbors. Obviously, we sent out the, um, uh, the um, you know, certified mail Cards. requirement. Okay. Uh, I don't see anyone here <laughs> objecting to us. So I don't see that there's any objection, okay? And uh, I can't express enough how appreciative we would be if the town of Watertown, after all these years, would provide us with this variance so we can move on with this project 
and we can get the uh, the deck that we would like to have in our backyard. Um, do you have the cards? I do have all the material right here. I could uh, bring no, it to you. I just need the cards. Just need the cards. Just the cards. Yeah. Okay. No, you can give them to her. Give, give, care give it to the secretary, yes. So I, th I think I've covered all the bases in terms of our desires, mm -hmm. and uh, we respect the uh, the board, and the zoning uh, laws and regulations of the town, the current ones. But unfortunately, they they don't accommodate our particular need here. Uh, Musa, did you go take a look at this? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I didn't do because there is a drawing in your packet which is very clear and uh, the hardship that actually they have is the size of this lot. It is only 7,405 square feet and the zone is 12,500. It is an R12.5. Yes, right. I think the way that this house is located on this lot and the size of the lot that creates hardship for them. And having a deck in a residential zone is not like an unusual request. Mm -hmm. Because every house has a deck. You're not, you're not closing this in or anything. Excuse me, no. You're not closing this no, in. No, this is all open. All open. Yes. I do have a question about where the location of the deck is. Why is it that you can't put it behind the house in the, in the L shape? Behind, okay. on the side of the house instead of behind. I asked that question in the office. Their sliding door is where the deck they want to put. Well, there's, there's, there's a couple of issues there. Number one, we have a pro ta propane tank with a line. We have a paving, uh, pavers uh, sidewalk with a ramp that I've used in the past uh, to get to the back of my house when I had surgery, okay? That would, uh, first of all, we wouldn't be able to do it. You've got a gas line there. I've got a, uh, a pipe, underground pipe, for the drain that's coming off of the, uh, the roof. The roof. And uh, it would not accommodate uh, that. I would have to destroy the, the sidewalk, a paver sidewalk. The whole paving uh, sidewalk that goes all around the house, at the time it cost us over $6,000. Well, we're here to ask questions because we're here to prevent nonconformity. Oh, I understand. I understand. I'm just asking questions and why it can't be put at the other, in that L-shaped in, yeah. in the back there. Yeah, it's a, like I said, you've got a gas line there, and also that accommodates, uh, one, the stove within my house, and two, if we lose power, I have a generator that could, it has to hook up to that propane tank. Is your house built on a slab or does it have a basement? No, it has a basement, yes. Okay. So, sir, your hardship is a uh, uh, pipe, a gas line, and, and, a, and, a, drain, and a drainage line for your uh, Absolutely. A roof Plus drain. A the roof drain that's... The destruction of the right. uh, sidewalk. Yeah. Does anybody else have any questions? No, I won't have it. And the size of the lot. That's oh, also, yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, I'll say that at the end. Okay. No. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, so I can call the uh, zoning office. No, we didn't. No, we didn't go down to that. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, you're good. Yeah. Tomorrow, well, if, uh, if we approve it or deny it, you'll know. If you want to stay. Oh, I just, should be I'd like to fast. stay because and, and, the um, fact is. Or if you leave, then you could call the office in the morning. No, I. Uh, I prefer gonna, to stay. We would prefer to stay. Sure. Only no for the problem. fact is that we've been waiting a long time. Sure. I don't blame and, you. And uh, okay. Okay. Well, to. we want to go into our our, our regular meeting. Okay. okay. I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. 
Second. All in favor? Mr. Aye. Chairman, you didn't ask for the record that if there is anybody in the no. public. There, there, oh, there is that no. shows that there, there is, is nobody public. there, yes. Okay. okay, is there anyone from the public wish to speak for or against this application? Anyone from the public wish to speak for or against this application? Anyone from the public wish to speak for or against this application? Hearing none. Make a motion have... to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We're going to go into the uh, regular meeting. Next page. Is just yeah, I got it right here. Okay, you got to start. All right, you want to... I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion we uh, approve the uh, minutes of uh, oh, okay. July 26, 2023. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I make, is there a second? Been made. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, old business, we have none. None. New business, application number 2023 1 of Giuseppe Paletta for a variance no, of. No, no, no. 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 We did that uh, one already. Okay, new the the Salvatore Glass. Yeah, that's, that's, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I see that. <laughs> you are reading from the minutes. Yeah, right. Read the agenda. Where did my other paper go? <clears throat> okay, application, new <coughs> business, application number 2023-2 of Salvatore Galasso for a variance of 13 feet to a rear property line set, setback for construction of a 12 foot by 11 foot deck to be located 17 feet from a rear property line at 32 Evelyn Street, Oakville, Connecticut and in our 12.5 residential zoning district. Do I have a motion? Make a motion we approve uh, application 2023-2. Second. Uh, um, the uh, applicant has demonstrated the, the fact that the lot um, restricts, the size of the lot uh, pre predates zoning and uh, is restrictive and it also has uh, services to the house uh, such as um, propane, propane lines and drain, drainage lines that prevents him from putting it elsewhere. Good. I couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> uh, there's a motion on the floor. There's a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now you can go if you want. <laughs> now you can leave. <laughs> we appreciate Oh, you can stay. We only got a couple more things. Communications and bills. Connecticut Federation of Planning and Zoning Agencies Quarterly Newsletter, Summer 2023, Volume 27, Issue 3. Make a motion we accept the communications and bills. Your second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. In-Person Land Use Academy Training Opportunity, October 28, 2023. Is everybody going? Are you guys? I Mr. Franson, I received your email, and yeah. I shared that with my boss, Mark Massoud. Okay. And that's something up to him. I don't make those decisions. That should be higher I, there. I, 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 I did mention that we can invite uh, Steve Byrne, the attorney, to correct. come here and give a uh, like a training for everybody at the same time. Yeah. But he said that this is better for you. And no, what I sent Rick is I think I copied you guys. Yeah, I saw it. Is, is yeah. you know we should we should be able to do the training in house. Let yeah. a let a trainer come here. Sure. We, it could be us. It could be the conservation commission. It could be you know we could train a Planning lot of people even. with with one one uh, meeting. One meeting, right? Right. And do it right here instead of us having to. Going to go to Haddam. Yeah, it's, an, know, it's just an hour drive from here, yeah. so it's like. And probably most of the guys won't even know. I mean, people work too, you know. So I, yeah. I just, you know, I yeah, it's a great I, idea. I, you, should we put a motion on the floor? No, I will. I will <laughs> mention again to Mark yeah, and yeah. to yeah. see. It's yeah. time and money. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, there, 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 You know, I, I, I believe that there is also online classes, but a lot of a lot of folks are not computer savvy or have mm -hmm. the, the, the computers that could do that. But um, I, I, th I think the I think the town can bring bring an instructor here, and you know I think I think the commissioners that volunteer their time would appreciate mm -hmm. you know having an instructor come here so we could do it locally. Okay, I will bring to his attention again tomorrow. Okay. Tell them we're all in favor of it too. So. Okay, <laughs> very good. Because what could happen? What could happen no, is you may not, you, you wouldn't have a, you wouldn't have a commission. Yeah. You right. know if, if we if we choose not to do that, mm -hmm. right? Then. We, we would technically not be allowed to sit on the commission. And it is required by it, new it, laws it, that you required. have to get it. Yeah. I already required. took a class. Okay. So, so we, could, we, we, could, certainly, we could certainly go that route as well, mm -hmm. you know, if we, if we stick together. I already got credits. Okay. So for that time. to keep up with it? Yes. Every yeah. year, I think, yeah. four credits you need. Yeah. Yes. So, 
Why because not the laws are, the laws are changing yeah. all the time, yeah. and they want you to be huh. updated with the new. No, and the other thing for you guys' advice: if you next year go to the dinner, it mm. counts because they they discuss. Well, you know, you've been there. Have you been there? Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. So if you go to that meeting, it counts as a meeting, and they discuss a lot of the new stuff that that happens and things that change. But 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 the, they they requested now four hours, so the dinner isn't a four hour. No. Doesn't yes. doesn't meet the four no. hour requirement. Right. Right. The issue so. I have is there's it's hard enough to get people to be on these boards. Yep. And I've been on for almost 25 years, and now all of a sudden I got to go to classes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sure. definitely I will mention to my boss and yep. see what yeah. happens. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, adjournment. Make a motion we adjourn. Is there a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Recording okay, stopped. You got your deck? Hope you enjoy it.